back, my fellow Inquisitors. You're probably wondering why you can't see me. Uh, but don't worry about that. With the right type of light, you'll be able to see me just fine. Whew. Wow, I was afraid I'd never be seeing the visible light spectrum again. So, as usual, to understand this question, we need to break it down. So let's take this to the lab. Come on. Whoa. Huh. Invisible ink has been around for thousands of years, making its first appearance 2,000 years ago and being used by a Roman author and philosopher named Pliny the Elder. Pliny used the milk of a titmoss plant for his invisible ink. You try saying it. It's hard, I know! In the following centuries, invisible ink was mainly used for espionage during war. It was used by George Washington during the Revolutionary War, World War I, World War II, and even the Cold War. But I'm not sure that's over. You can't see the writing on the wall. <laughs> Even more interestingly though, the technologies of Invisible Ink have advanced greatly. I mean, look at this pen. I wrote a message on this board and you can't even tell. <laughs> but even cooler, the CIA released the ingredients of the ink that they used. Oh. <laughs> We've talked about the history of Invisible Ink but that's in the past. <laughs> anyway, to understand Andrew's question, we really need to dig down to the root. And I think we need to understand how it works. So, Invisible Ink has three developing methods. One, heat. Whew, make it hot. Two, chemical reaction. Remember the bouncy ball? That had a chemical reaction too, and it bounced all over the place. And three, ultraviolet light, or UV or black light, or disco party. You know what I'm talking about. That's what we're gonna talk about because that's what Andrew asked specifically. Uh, let me go get a black light. Ha, a black light bulb. What you see glowing when you turn on a black light bulb are phosphors. And phosphors are basically any substance that react to the radiation by emitting light. Radiation? Ah! <laughs> Don't worry, the radiation from a black light is way less than the sun when you're suntanning. Anyway, phosphors are not visible to the naked eye, but under the UVA light, they glow and fluoresce! <laughs> Whoa! There are other inks that work under a black light, but invariantly. Take sunscreen, for instance. See? Instead of shining and fluorescing, it absorbs all the light. That's so cool! <laughs> anyway, thanks Andrew for this awesome question. This was by far the most fun to research and do. Look at all the stuff I got to play with. <laughs> if you want your question answered in the next video, leave a comment below and it could be you. Who knows? And remember, question everything. <laughs>